Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ray, that's Koji, and today we're gonna look at the Japanese one year anniversary set and see if it's worth it. But before we go check out that amazing looking product, I wanna tell you guys about today's giveaway. So for this video, I will be giving away your choice of the Dawn from the OP06 double pack set, which is gonna be the Zoro or the Sanji. And all you have to do to be part of this giveaway is make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. I will post the winner this Saturday. So make sure you stay subscribed so that you won't miss it. Also, I want to shout out the members of my Wolfpack real quick. And as a reminder, my members only giveaway for April is this Oda Luffy from OP05. All right, now without further ado, let's go check out the one year Japanese anniversary set. All right, so this is the box for the Japanese first anniversary set. So if you do not know, as a celebration of the one year anniversary of the One Piece card game, uh, Bandai has released a Japanese and English version, or I guess, um, yeah, I guess edition to commemorate that special event along with OP05. So what we're gonna be opening today is the Japanese version. So this one is actually released in Japan when OP05 released like last year. So, you know, but we are only getting ours, um, uh, I guess uh, last month, I believe it released somewhere in uh, end of March and I was only able to get it uh, today. Uh, yeah, shout out to one of my locals, Angus. He actually ordered it from Premium Bandai up here uh, for us in Vancouver, Canada. And he actually drove all the way down in Washington, uh, US to pick it up. So yeah, shout out to him. Amazing, amazing dude. So yeah, if you buy one and order it from Premium Bandai, this is what it's gonna be looking like so it looks like it's uh completely sealed and um intact uh so the msrp for this one is 100 us dollars and we're gonna open this baby up and see if it's worth it all right it looks like i'm ready to open it up so all right so this is gonna be my first time seeing it in person all right let's go check it out and oh Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, so it looks like everything is packaged really nicely, but holy crap. This looks incredible. Sorry, Koji. There you go. You can stay here. Perfect. So this is what it looks like. I believe if, if you're going to be, I guess, buying it maybe in the store, this is the packaging and oh, my goodness guys the teal or the uh, whatever it is the green uh color with black looks so sleek oh you can see a little bit at the end there yeah so this is what it looks like in the back oh man i know that this is pricey it is 100 us dollars uh, the canadian that's like 140 150 I, I think it's like all the way up to like 180 but you can definitely feel the premium, uh, well, premiumness just based on the package uh, package alone. So as you can see here, it uh, the set contains uh, three promo cards, uh, one playmat, two sleeves, a hundred pieces each, a card case with separator, and a storage box. And yeah, all right. Are you guys excited? I am so excited to open this up. It looks so freaking sweet. All right, let's go slide it out. Let's go see. Oh, <laughs> holy crap. Guys, this looks so good. Uh, I don't know if you can see, but yes, that is Luffy looking absolutely like a giga chad oh it is like it's not a paint it's like embossed or gloss i don't know if you guys can see it in the reflection oh it is so good it looks so cool you can see here it's a one piece card game first anniversary so sick in the bottom 
Here's on the other side. Oh man, you can definitely feel the premium value of this product just by touching it, just by looking at it, guys. It, oh, it looks so good. All right, I'm gonna slide it up and see the goodies inside. Oh, there it is. There's some of the products. Okay, so it looks like, let's go check it out. So first we have the play mat. Okay, we're gonna open that up later. Then we have the two sleeves. I'm gonna look at that. Then we're going to see, we're gonna look at the case. And then I believe the promo cards are inside. And yeah, this is just packaging. So I believe this is gonna be the storage box as part of the product. And yeah, it's definitely way, way better quality than the cardboards that you get from regionals or the thing that you buy. It looks like it's gonna be a really nice way to uh, package some of your cards. Uh, I believe you can fit like top loaders here, no problem. So yeah, I'll show that to you guys later. So yeah, so this is looks like this is gonna be the, uh, I guess, uh, storage box that comes with the product. Looking absolutely gorgeous. Look at that, it looks so good. All right, so let's go quickly look at some of the products that is included with this. We're gonna leave the mat at the end. Uh, I guess second to last, I think we're gonna leave this one at the end. All right, so first let's go look at the sleeve. Starting with Luffy one. Oh my goodness. Look at that. I love the green. I love the artwork. It is so sick. I can't wait to add this to my deck. Oh man. So um, you get a hundred of these. I think MSRP usually is around uh, nine, ten dollars uh, USD. So yeah, so this is gonna be special and you can only get this specific one in the set. So depending on what you put value in that, it's gonna be at least 10 US dollars. Let's go look at the second one. So it's a lot more, I guess, muted version. One thing that you can actually use and do is you can actually use this one as a Dawn. Uh, since this one comes with a hundred, uh, so you can use it for like 10 different Dawn decks uh, if you want. So that's actually pretty cool if that's something that you wish to go. Comment down below, guys, which sleeve do you prefer? Do you, sleeve, do you prefer this one or do you prefer the Luffy one? Obviously, for me, I think this Luffy one looks absolutely ace. Look at that. Amazing. And I think one thing that's really, really nice about the One Piece uh, sleeves compared to like Pokemon one is that it is clear. It is not matte. I know that there are some Pokemon sleeves that is like matted and it kind of dulls the color and kind of dulls the artwork and there's so many amazing looking cards that, you know, it's 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 a shame, right? So I do like this one. What I like to do uh, for uh, my sleeves, especially for once that's like, I really, really like is that I basically will double sleeve it. So I will put the cards inside one of the regular sleeves and then I will put it in the outer sleeve as well. So the sleeve artwork is not gonna get faded and it's not gonna get worn out and uh, it's gonna get preserved because yeah, this artwork is so cool looking. All right, so that's two. So next, let's go look at this mat sorry koji i'm gonna need to kick you out of the picture all right let's go check out this mat oh it looks like it's uh, upside down and oh oh that is so slick oh man so it's still the same uh, color as the rest of the products. Uh, Luffy looking absolutely amazing here with such a giga chat. And look at the embossing here of the One Piece card game. Oh man, that is so sick. Look at that. Oh, wow. So yeah, so you can see here too at the edge, you get the one year or the first anniversary One Piece card game tag. You get obviously you got Ichiro Oda and Swashaya as part of that. Looking absolutely sick. 
Oh man. So one of the things that you do notice is that obviously the edge is not um uh I guess closed off. So that's one thing that you have to watch out for is that it can slowly kind of uh flay or get stripped if you use it regularly. Uh, for example, the, um, the official game mat that I use for my weekly uh, local games, that's already slar uh, starting to get peeled. So maybe I'll save this one for my recordings because I really don't want to ruin this one, especially something that looks amazing. I believe that in terms of the size, this is the same as the official play mat. Here, let me quickly grab it and compare. All right, so I have brought two of the mats that I have, starting with the official play mat. So this is, oh, earthquake. This is the one that I use for my weeklies. As you can see, it's the same length. And in terms of the size, it's pretty much the exact same size of the mat. So if you're wondering, well, you know, what's the size? It's pretty much the same size of the play mat. And I mentioned before, one of the, I guess, drawbacks of this kind of mat is that for heavy use, it's gonna start slowing, uh, slowly peeling it off. So this is the old mat that I use for my weekly matches. Still looks amazing. Look at that, uh, still looks really, really good. But as you can see, because of the folding and use, uh, daily use or weekly use, it's starting to get fade. So I really don't want <laughs> this amazing looking mat to be like that. So I might just save this one for either special tournaments or uh, save it for my videos. And then the second one is the one that I use for my daily videos. This is gonna be the Three Brothers one. So as you can see, it'll be, it's actually, it's a little bit longer. Actually, no, uh, it's, it's, it's a little bit longer. I don't know if you can see, it's a little bit longer than the, um, the Luffy mat. Not, the, not by much, but maybe half a centimeter, one centimeter or so in terms of the length it's, or in terms of the height, it looks like it's going to be the same. Yeah, so it's so the three brothers mat is a little bit longer, but uh, yeah. So if you have either of these mats, you can use them as a reference point. It's pretty much the same size as those other two, but yeah, this one is definitely the most classy and the something that I want to preserve as much as possible. Look how amazing this thing looks! All right, now with. <laughs> Last but not least, let's go check out this deck box. Oh, looking absolutely awesome as well. So it's pretty much the same size as the other deck boxes that you get from the premium decks. So if you get that one, it's pretty much the exact same size of that one. So if you're wondering uh, in terms of comparison of the size, all right, let's go open it up and let's go look at some of the promos. There you go. Let's go have a up close look. So I really like the uh, a little bit more muted design of the deck boxes. Definitely makes it stand out. In terms of quality, it it basically feels the same as the other deck boxes. Uh, I think the other deck boxes might have a little bit more texturing on it. This one's a lot more flat, but looks absolutely amazing. And then next, let's go look at oh. There you go. Ooh, nice. So this is the divider that comes with it. This is the three promos that we will open up and check it out. But yeah, so this is what it's gonna look like. Can't wait to open it up, check it out, and put probably my Rager deck. That'd be pretty cool. I'll put my Rager deck here until I upgrade it for my Red Popo lot. And then finally, let's go check out the promos. So this one comes with three promo cards. The English edition of the one year anniversary comes with about 12, uh, 12 cards. Unfortunately, that one I was not able to pre-order. So <laughs> depending on the price, I might get it. I might not get it and make a video out of it because right now the prices for that product it's insane. I don't really want to pay over 200 bucks for that one. No offense, even though if that one looks absolutely insane as well. If you don't know, it's somewhere in this picture. It's like Japanese themed. 
uh, like very old Japanese themed of the straw hats. It looks pretty cool. Uh, I, I just forgot to pre-order that one. All right, so let's go check out the promo card starting with number one. We have, oh, we have an adorable Otama. Oh man, it is textured. I don't know if you guys can see it. It is textured. It's like little bubbles. Oh, it looks so awesome. Oh my goodness, it looks man. The artworks in this One Piece card game is just nuts. If you are a fan of One Piece, man, we are eating well. Look at that. All right, so that's Otama number two. It looks like we have oh Makino, adorable, love it. You see, we have Shanks, we have young Luffy there. Looks absolutely insane. It is textured as well with a little bit of like bubbles in the background. I don't know if you guys see it. Oh my goodness. All right. And then last but not the least, we have Marco. Oh man. Is this the best looking Marco? It has to be, right? Oh my goodness. It is textured as well. Oh, it looks so... It's like, it's basically an alt art. Like you bought three alt arts, plus the mat, plus the sleeves, plus the deck box for a hundred US dollars. Um, you know, depending on how you feel about that, that that's kind of what it feels like. Look at that. So if you do not know how they decided these three cards is that they pulled uh, Japanese players, or I guess the Japanese region players, um, the three most popular cards. And obviously when they did this, it is like the height of red. So obviously it was all red. Oh man, looks absolutely insane. Comment down below guys, which promo card do you prefer? Do you prefer the Marco, the Otama, or the Makino. For me, I absolutely, absolutely love this Otama card. Look at that. Oh, man. All right, so before we talk about if it's worth it, I want to just quickly um, show in terms of, uh, you know, the box uh, being able to contain top loaders so that you guys can see if you can store your collections in it. All right, so if you have your storage box and you have your card, <laughs> shout out the pre rata Nami, look at that. So if you want to store top loaders, looks like you can put it right here. Uh, in terms of standing up, I don't think you can store it standing up, but I believe you can store it this way as well and then cover it up. And then you can keep your collection secure. Look at that. What? What's a better way to store some of your best cards than this, ladies and gentlemen? Definitely won't be, nothing will be cooler than this one for sure. So yeah, now let's go quickly talk about, to see if it's worth it. So it's $100 MSRP, obviously right now if you buy it, if you did not pre-order, it's way, way more expensive. So yeah, so for $100, you get three promo cards. These cards are basically alt arts of current cards. In terms of playability, red is not really part of the matter right now. There, you know, there's some red decks, Zoro decks, white beards that, you know, stop a level relatively high, but they're definitely not S tier or not even A tiers anymore. So, in terms of future playability or playability of these cards, it's toss up in the air. If you're a fan of the artwork, if you're a fan of these cards, if you're just a One Piece fan, obviously collecting these are a must because they look absolutely gorgeous. And then, uh, you know, it comes with the deck box as well as two sleeves. So then you have to kind of think to yourself, uh, is all of this $10 or $100 worth? For me, uh, obviously yes, as a collector, it's 100% yes. Like, you only celebrate the one year anniversary of the One Piece card game once. Will they release another product like similar to this? Probably, it probably won't be the second one though, maybe five year if we get that far, hopefully. Uh, I mean, it's popular enough, but you know, we'll see. Uh, so yeah, 
I definitely think it's worth it. You know, the the card uh, box, it looks way better than any uh, one that they've released before. It's actually big enough to store top loaders of cards and you can you know see that it's gonna be able to store a lot of uh top loaders if you want to store your collections there the cardboard uh in terms of the deck box it's good but it's very similar to all of uh the other deck boxes they released so you can take it or leave it for me um i like i like the design but i know that some people might prefer the other ones uh and then in terms of the sleeves i think the luffy one looks much much better i kind of uh, than this one, uh, I probably will put the value of this leaves at about 20 US dollars. Uh, this one's probably the typical $10 one. It's I can take it or leave it, but this one is definitely an ace. And then obviously you will get the mat. So if you actually buy um, an official mat, those already cost like what 25, 30 US dollars. So you know add all of that plus the promos it's just easily worth the 100 us dollars guys if you're a player maybe not just because red is not really meta you probably have your own deck boxes you probably have your own sleeves you probably have your own mats but if you're a collector if you're one piece fan it's it's such an amazing looking product guys oh yeah so comment down below guys what do you think? Do you think the One Piece Japanese first anniversary set is worth it? Comment down below if you think it is, if you think it's too overpriced, if you think they're releasing too many of these kind of products and, uh, you know, inundating all One Piece fans with, you know, they're just draining our money too much. But hey, for me, I'm so happy to get these because these cards look absolutely amazing. These products look absolutely amazing. And I can't wait to potentially buy the English version. All right so that has been the video uh yeah remember if you want to be part of the giveaway make sure to hit that like button subscribe and leave a comment down below as always i hope everyone will have an amazing rest of the week and i'll see you guys later cheers